Number 41. A certain slide projector has a 100 millimeter focal length lens. Letter A. How far away is the screen if a slide is placed 103 millimeters from the lens and produces a sharp image? All right, so here's our slide. Here's the lens. Here's the image. All right, they tell us the distance from the lens to the slide is going to be 103 millimeters, but we need that in meters. Just let's make everything consistent. 0 0.103. All right, that's meters. It also tells us the focal length, so I already converted that into meters. That's an inherent property of the lens. And uh, what I want to do is I want to find this X, okay? So the slide is the object, okay? This is the real object, all right? And the image that is formed then is all the way out here, okay? We call that DI. So this DO is the distance, or we could say the distance of the object from the lens, and DI is then the uh, distance of the image from the lens. So what we are after solving for is we're after solving for di. So we need a formula that relates some of the variables, right? So we have the lens equation that the one over uh, the object distance plus then one over the image distance will equal one over the focal length. If I want to find image distance, simply subtract this term on over to the uh, right hand side, right? It's a little subtraction in there now. And then what you can do is you can cross multiply the di with all of this stuff. And that's then your formula. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. And there you go. All right, we'll make this line a little bigger. And that's it. All right. So this is then 1 divided by now 1 over the focal length. So that's 0 0.1 minus then 1 over the object distance. And that's 0.103. All right, so let's see what we get. So di here is going to be, let's see. Let's do now 1 divided by 0 0.1 minus then 1 divided by 0.103. And then divide that now into 1, so it's 3.43, all right, 3.43 meters, all right? So that's the x value here in the problem. That is this distance, all right? That's the distance of the image relative to the lens. Then, so that takes care of part A. And then part B, it said, if the slide is 24 by 36 millimeters, uh, what are the dimensions of the image? All right. So basically now what we need to do is find uh, the magnification, more or less. All right. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, I mean, there's a couple of ways we can look to do this. Um, so basically, yeah. So why don't we do it this way? Um, so let's take the magnification formula over here. Let's write B. And this is going, going to be now negative DI, the image distance, divided by DO is equal to the magnification. All right, so we, we have these values, right? So this is going to be negative 3.43 meters divided then by the object distance of 0.103 meters. And that's going to equal what? So let's do it. Divided by then 0.103. That's 33.3, .3, right? Negative 33.3. Okay. So now this basically is the magnification. All right, so what's essentially happening here now is this. Let's let's assume um, that uh, you know it, it doesn't say which one's the height and which one's the width here, but it really doesn't make a difference. So let's assume that this is going to be the height. All right, so I'll draw that in here. The height there is going to be 24 <coughs> millimeters, but you know we need that in meters, so 0.024 okay meters. So what's happening is this negative sign is telling us well the magnitude is telling us it's going to be blown up essentially, and the negative sign is just telling us that's going to be inversed. Okay, so if this was 0 0.024 meters upwards, then this now image height should now be negative 33.3 .3 times that height of 0 0.24, excuse me, 0 0.024, all right? So do that in the calculator. What do you get? So take that and multiply by 0 0.024, and that's not going to be 0 0.8, okay? 0 0.8 what? 0 0.8 meters or 800 millimeters, right? Depending upon how you want to view it. So why don't I just remove this now? Maybe if I can, I'll just put it over there. I know that's really small. That was basically what I'm doing is taking M and then I'm multiplying it now by the height, okay? So it's negative 33.3 times N 0 0.024 and that equals negative 0.8 meters. The negative sign just tells us direction. All right. So that's this over here, 0 0.8 meters. And then you're literally going to do the same thing now for the width. Okay. So for the width, don't even worry about the negative sign. I think you kind of get the idea now. 
So just take the 36, 36 and multiply it by the net magnification. It's going to be 12, you know, 1200 if I use the 36, but that's 1200 millimeters or AKA. Uh, let me move this down, AKA 1.2 meters. Okay, that's going to be now the, the width. So, all right, so this is then going to be 0. Point, uh, don't, what am I doing? 1.2. 1.2 meters, all right? So those are then the new dimensions, all right? They could have asked you what's the new area for the object, and you could have done it the same exact way. You just multiplied them both at the end, all right? So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope this video helps, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.